Hello students, in today's EVS1 class, we are learning about seasons. In India, we have three seasons, which are they? Winter, summer and rainy. Look at the picture. This picture is showing the winter season. In the winter season, we wear woolen and other warm clothes. Why? It is to protect ourselves from the cold. Can you name some warm clothes? Yes, children. Sweater, turban, woolen gloves, monkey caps, isn't it? Yes. These clothes are warm clothes. If we wear these woolen clothes, we feel warm and we can protect ourselves from cold. But in Mumbai, we are not observing that cold during winter. Yes, because here the weather is humid. But if you go to hilly regions like Mahabaleshwar and Panchgani, there the climate is very cold. Have you ever visited these tourist places? Yes, children. So, look at the picture. This is Mahabaleshwar and Panchgani. So, during winter, these places are very cold because they are situated in the higher area like above the earth means so that is why the these places are very cold children which season comes after winter after winter season which season comes that is summer summer season comes after winter so you know the summer season what is the speciality of summer season yes children you get vacations your exams gets over by the end of march or first week of april so you get enough time to play in summer season so during summer season what type of clothes do we wear yes we wear coat cotton clothes why because it is very hot during summer so cotton clothes and the clothes which are loose that if you wear we are not feeling that hot so, we wear caps and hats to protect ourselves from the hot sun. And we drink plenty of water to keep ourselves cool. Yes, children, because during summer we feel thirsty because of the hot sun, isn't it? And we feel nice to have ice creams during this times so this is summer season after summer season which season comes it is rainy season monsoon children the rainy season is coming after summer so now the rainy season is going on yes children it rains whole day we can see water everywhere the trees and bushes are very happy and full earth looks green there is greenery everywhere yes students we wear raincoats hoods and also use umbrellas to avoid getting wet in the 
rain so children which is your favorite season winter summer or rainy yes some may like summer season because you get to play in the hot sun yes and some may like winter season because in winter you are feeling very cold no sweating and the weather is very pleasant and some may like rainy season because in the rain rain you can play you can make paper boats yes and some like to become wet and play in rainy season so it is uh, left to you your choice of seasons now children look at the textbook page number 13 so here the picture is given here just look at the picture just as three seasons affect us they affect all other living things too we see these changes taking place in a living world every year year after year that is we adjust ourselves according to the season yes you know that when it is raining we wear rain coats and we uh, take the umbrellas and in winter we wear sweater and to protect ourselves from the uh, winter that is cold and in summer we wear light cotton clothes and drink plenty of water so in this way we adjust ourselves according to the season accordingly plants and animals also have to change so same like human beings even plants and animals are also changing their lifestyle according to the season now children the coats of many furry animals become thicker in winter you know furry animals that is uh, for example sheep and goats and rabbits they have fur all over their body this keeps them warm in cold season so in winter season the coats of many furry animals become thicker and thicker so such growth of hair is especially noticed in animals like sheep goats and rabbits this is to protect the protect their body from the winter that is from the cold climate so same like how we are wearing sweater here in animals their fur is growing during winter naturally the furs are growing okay children and in winter trees also shed their leaves and new leaves starts growing yes in winter that is in maharashtra is also called the season of pan gal in marathi pan gal means shedding the leaves that is falling of leaves that is because many trees shed their leaves in winter so in winter season automatically the old leaves are falling that is trees are shedding their leaves and then the new leaves are growing so in marathi it is known as pan gal that is shedding of trees now the end of winter is also the time for the mango trees to start blossoming you know you all are fond of mangoes isn't it so end of winter season means it is 
March means beginning of summer, end of winter. In March month, if you see the mango trees, they are they start blossoming. These blossoms are called mohar in Marathi. M O H U R mohar in Marathi. So, look at the picture also. That is mohar or mango blossoms. So, children, uh, this is a word. This mohar is a word in Marathi. Mohar means mango blossoms. Look at the picture of mango blossoms. It is very beautiful. Yes. So, this is the end of winter season. So, in the end of winter season, the mango trees starts blossoming. That is mango blossoms or mohar in Marathi. Okay. So, at the close of the month of February, it becomes warmer and by March, we begin to feel the heat. It is time for summer. So, beginning of March, it starts uh, summer, summer season starts, so that time we feel the heat. So, summer season, you know that uh, the trees are growing their new leaves. Okay, so they start uh, growing their new leaves. In this season, that is, many trees get new leaves. And forests appear to have taken on a copper color because these leaves are reddish and shiny while they are tender. So, you must have observed the tender leaves. They are copper colored, copper colored and uh, they are reddish and shiny. Tender leaves are reddish and shiny it is of copper color their color changes to green as the leaves grow bigger you must have observed in small plants also just the tender leaves are reddish in color and as they grow they changes the color into green so this is a beginning of summer season so, this time when you look at the greenery or forest everywhere new leaves and the trees are just shining with copper colored leaves. And this time the coil, the bird coil is also uh, starts the call. They start their call also in many places we can hear. So, in summer, the market is full of mangoes, watermelons and also musk melon and, and which fruit? That is cashew, cashew nuts also. So, in summer season, which fruits are available in, in the market? Yes, children. Mangoes, watermelons, cashews. These are the seasonal fruits. That is summer fruits. So, cashew nuts and the... You can see the red, yellow, cashew apples. These can be seen growing on the cashew trees on hillsides in Konkan region. So, in Konkan regions, we get to see this cashew fruit and it is there. It is famous for cashew nuts also in Konkan. We get to see this cashew fruits. So, in June, in the month of June, so summer season ends by the end of May. 
and in the month of june black clouds make their appearance so that is the rainy season so children you get to see all these fruits that is in the market so which are the fruits we get to see in rainy season we get to see jack fruits jamuns karwandas yes these fruits we could get to see during rainy seasons so the seeds of grass and other plants lie scattered all over the ground and when it the rainy season starts they sprout and start growing as soon as it begins to rain so it becomes green everywhere this greenery is soothing after the hot summer months in summer season you must have seen the picture it is very hot and dry weather and the ground is also very hot but as the rainy season begins we get to see the greenery everywhere and it soothes to our eyes sometimes we can even see the rainbow with its seven colors in the sky so we can see the rainbows also during the rainy season so as it becomes wet everywhere you can see the rainy creatures yes children so which are the rainy creatures frogs snails yes and we can hear the croaking noise of frogs everywhere yes so as the rainy season ends it is time for winter to come back so the three seasons first winter then again we get summer then rainy and after the rainy again it is a time for winter to come back so it gets colder and colder so you know after the rainy season that is now the june july and august and september so these are the four months of rainy season so when the september ends then comes october that is beginning of winter october november december and january these are the winter seasons and in february february march april and may february is the starting of winter and by the summer and by the end of may the summer season gets over so when the rainy season gets over we get the winter season so as the rainy season ends it is time for winter to come back so it gets colder and colder so what happens with the frogs let us see this is not good for the frogs so frogs enjoy rainy season but they doesn't like winter so they go deep under the ground for a long period of slumber which last for 7 or 8 months students are you getting it so the frogs come up only during rainy season and when the rainy season gets over and when the winter starts they go deep under the ground and for a long period of slumber that is for 8 to 7 to 8 months they stay inside the ground they never come out so this is a slumber period of frogs so frogs come out only during 
rainy season. So, in the same way, children, we depend on agriculture for food that we have learnt already. That is, we are dependent on the plants and we are growing the crops to get our food. So, this is known as agriculture. We know that farmers are growing the crops for us and that is why we are getting the food to eat. So, the different seasons, summer, winter and monsoons are the time for doing different tasks in the field. So, during these seasons, the farmers are doing their work according to the season. You know, in summer season, the farmers start ploughing the fields and keeping the field ready. So, they are waiting for the rainy season to start. As soon as the rainy season starts, they start to sow their seeds. Yes, sowing the seeds and then as rain comes, it is convenient for them because they get water naturally and the seed starts germinating and they grow and they starts giving the crops. So, in winter season, the crops are growing and they are ready to harvest. So, by the end of November month, November and October, the crops are ready and the farmers are harvesting the crops. And when the, by the end of winter season, the crops are harvested and in summer, the farmers are sun drying it. So, it is very, it is necessary we have to sun dry the crops and then only we can store them and we can use them later. So, in this way, the seasons also play very important role in agriculture. So, children, we have studied the second lesson and now we will just go through the important points what we have learnt in this lesson, what we have learnt, this column is there in your textbook page number 14. So, let us go through it. The needs of all living things are met in the environment. There are differences in the needs of different living things. This point we have discussed in the previous class. Some arboreal animals like monkeys and squirrels live in trees and feed on them. Their droppings help trees to grow in new places. Some birds build their nest in trees. So, this shows that there is interrelationship between the Living things, they help each other. Each type of living thing strives where all its needs are fulfilled. For example, tigers live in grasslands and aquatic plants live in water. This too we have learnt. That is, we live where all its needs are fulfilled. So, the animal can live in such a place that all its needs are fulfilled. There is no difficulty for them to live. Now, changes in seasons affect living things. Today's lesson, we discuss that the changes in seasons affect living things. In winter, trees shed leaves and animals Coats grow thicker. At the start of summer, trees get new leaves. In rainy season, it becomes green all around. Frogs appear and also 
crops grow in fields so these are the changes takes place according to the changes in the season similarly we human beings also have to make changes according to the season yes children so always remember the environment changes with the season so you know that the environment where we live that is our environment it changes with the season yes we have learnt it that season like in rainy season there is changes in the environment cloudy and water everywhere and no sunlight so these are the changes so we have to adjust accordingly and in winter the weather is cold and the days are shorter during winter okay because uh, sun rises late and also the sun sets very early so the days are short whereas the night is longer so these are the changes according to the changes in the seasons and in summer we have hot sun and there is uh, scarcity for water also water dries up because of the evaporation of water by sun and also the days are long and the uh, night is short during summer so sun rays are falling more on the earth so these are the changes so the, because of this changes we also have to change accordingly living things have to adapt themselves to those changes so that is what we discussed that all the living things animals trees all of them are adapting themselves to those changes so children this is about the lesson that is lesson number 2 the interrelationship between living things now i finished explaining the lesson now you have to read the lesson and underline the difficult words and write these words three times and learn the spellings so go through the textbook and read all the important points and understand it and write the difficult words and learn it thank you children have a nice day